we just arrived here at Nick Boker's place. Man, we're super pumped. Came probably from Texas. You know, we're ready to get some rifle sighted in. And then Nick just came by and said that they got a Lynx with uh, about 15 dogs on it on the neighboring property. And uh, we're gonna go try to get that this afternoon. We're stoked. Guys, so anywhere between 50 and 150, you don't need to worry about it. Just stick the crosshairs on and go for it. Any, once you start getting past that, put the crosshairs on, on the gong, push that. Uh, uh, it'll drop it. Actually, don't go to the gong. Go to pick something, pick a tree way in the background there. Okay. And just push it. And then see, so then a red dot will come up. So that becomes your aiming point. Okay. Okay, so between 0 to 150, just stick the crosshairs on and you're good to go. Okay. After that, you need to push and then it'll give you an aiming point. But just every time you pick it up, just use that so you start getting into And you've got to physically remember to use the aiming point. Because a lot of people range and then they go back to your eyes and immediately go to the cross here. Okay. So just pick a tree in the background there and just, just to uh, get a sample. Rifles are awesome. Crisp trigger. I oh, mean, got some good equipment. Smooth, smooth, great, great scope. <laughs> Love it. First day of the hunt today. Uh, we've seen a lot of a lot of animals out there: kudu, nyla, black buck, black impala, um, some baboons, warthogs, uh, elan. You name it. We, we've seen pretty much everything, and uh, we're excited. Uh, we we try to get on some uh, some kudu bulls. Uh, couldn't get there, but we'll get them tomorrow. All right, so we're walking over. Gonna try to get on this water buck today and hopefully we can get a shot at him today. First African animal. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down there. Just tuned perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just going to walk slowly. Yeah, we'll like yeah. 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 Well, good news is it's not uh, five minutes before sunset, it's early in the morning. So. Wow. That's a beautiful book, congratulations. Thank you so much. Man, I don't realize how big they are. No, they are. They don't look, they don't look so big on the hoop. 
a lot of animals you'll shoot and when you get to the body smaller than you thought oh, yeah. these are extra wow. I thought the waterbuck meat was, was terrible and they didn't eat it but it's because they were getting this oh the secret oil? yeah but, so if you get all the meat it tastes rancid uh -huh. so, so if you skin it properly it's awesome man so I just got my waterbuck he's got some oil to his uh, cape here a magnificent creature. I am super happy. Yeah, so we, we drove around to this, this sort of river area hoping for either a kudu or a waterbuck. Um, we came in here, I suppose about 7.30, sun was just coming up. And we spotted this beautiful bull, uh, probably six, seven hundred yards away. And um, he kind of took a look at us and he, and he ran down into this river area, thick river area here. Anyway, we got out of the truck and came up walking down towards the ridge, ridge here. And uh, we're lucky enough, the bull came through the river and out the other side. And he turned square to look back at us, and uh, yeah, Aaron made a great shot, dropped him, and then unfortunately rolled over and rolled into the river. So that took us a good hour and a half to get him out, but yeah, what an awesome bull. First animal in Africa for Aaron. Beautiful. Uh, it was fantastic. It's a great experience. I uh, woke up this morning, didn't think we'd get on a water buck this soon, and man, what a magnificent creature. I'm just super, super proud about this animal right here. We're gonna get a second look at him, see if he's worth shooting or not. So we're gonna take down, go to down bottom, and see if we can get some good, better eyes on him. Even time, we just tried getting on a Nyala bull. Uh, we spotted him, he was a sh definitely a shooter. Uh, didn't square up, square up with us, so we tried to get closer and uh, try to get on him, but uh, couldn't get him just yet. We'll try again tomorrow. On the end of your first day in Africa. Hope you enjoyed it. That uh, was fantastic, got a water buck this morning. That's what counts. Cool. Those are all clam chops, pork Bacon. chops, is that springback uh, society? Saladier society. Saladier society. Some chicken, chicken society. Are you okay? Uh, very few, very few, very few, very few. Very few. Yeah, and, and European. Yeah, I'll be off
lamb chops, uh, pork bones, got the pork rashes and all. Yeah. Uh, pork rashes, paladier sausages and chicken sausages. Yeah, You're just an old ass man. <laughs> okay, welcome guys. Your first day in Africa. Um, two water dogs. Uh, water back. Um, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves and uh, yeah, a lot of fun to go. That was a blast. I enjoyed myself, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful country. Dig in and enjoy. Cheers. Beautiful day here in Eastern Cape, Africa. Uh, we're excited to see what the bush has to offer for us today. It's gonna be hard beating yesterday's action, but I think we can do it again. All right, good boy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, so we got here just as the sun was coming over the skyline. Um, had a glass around, saw quite a few impala, a couple of water dogs, um, but nothing of trophy quality. Uh, so we're going to uh, swing around to the next vantage point and uh, see if we can find something there. the morning yeah absolutely and it wasn't easy because you couldn't see a whole great deal no, of it. I could see just the upper shoulder yeah. and that was, that was it Okay, so came out early this morning, beautiful morning, not a breath of wind, sun shining, uh, we went to our first lookout spot, um, saw quite a few impala but nothing that we fancied, um, and we came around, got onto another good vantage point and uh, spotted a bachelor herd of five rams, oh, about a thousand yards away, anyway we snuck down the edge and got into a little draw and worked our way up and uh, at about 425 yards, was as close as we could get. We had a springbuck between 
between the Impala, between us and them. Anyway, um, I said to Aaron, are you comfortable? He said, yeah. And uh, yeah, so he put up the sticks and uh, made a fantastic shot at 425. Didn't have much to see the Impala and he dropped it. Awesome. That was fantastic. Uh, great experience. Definitely my longest shot yet. Uh, I'm really excited about this Impala and looking forward to uh, what's coming next. That looks like a big sable. It's a big ass sable. So we just spotted a uh, big, big sable. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get close to him and see if we can get a shot on him. All right, we're going to get ready to shoot this sable. Saw a big nice sable bull, but we have another one. It's a little bit bigger. Seems like we got too many options on sable right now. So we're going to take a look at this other uh, sable here. Uh, we got so many eyes on us right now. There's so much game out here, so we're going to make this a, a tough stock here. Go down with one shot so you hit him right on the mat. Oh man, that's a shoe. That's amazing. Girl. Wow. Well, <laughs> I don't get any more symmetrical than that either. 
Okay, so we came out um, this afternoon looking for a sable. Uh, we spotted one early in the afternoon, oh, probably about a mile away. Uh, went down to have a look at him. Um, nice bull, but yeah, you know, time on our side, so we carried on looking and then we uh, spotted two bulls lying together here. Uh, we put a stalk on them and uh, yeah, we had the option of two and uh, we had this beautiful bull with massive, good mass and uh, Aaron made a great shot, 275, one shot, ran 50 yards and tumbled over. Beautiful animal. Yeah, so we had a stock, uh, you know, crouch prone uh, for about, what, a couple of hundred yards. So he kept looking at us, uh, so we got to get, get a good shot on him. So it was, uh, my heart was beating out of my chest the whole time because, again, this was, was number one on my list, and uh, I'm really, really excited, and I really appreciate Nick uh, for getting him on this, on this nice bull here. Awesome job, well done, uh, great bull. No, thank you, appreciate it. This period of time before deer season. Yeah, it's uh... As the end of day three here in Eastern Cape, Africa, uh, man, what a what a wonderful day today. Uh, we This morning we were able to uh, successfully uh, get me an Impala. Um, that was uh, a chore in itself. Uh, it was a 427 yard shot, long ways. Um, I could barely see his body, uh, made the shot, dropped him right there in a spot, uh, and it was just a fantastic hunt. Uh, we worked hard for that one. Uh, then later in the day, uh, we came across uh, three different sable bulls. Uh, one was in different, a different location than the other two. I uh, decided to pass up on the, uh, on the first one and, and try to get a shot on uh, these other two. Uh, so we had to stalk around and uh, get up on them. Uh, we crouched prone walked for about a couple hundred yards and we were able to successfully drop a drop a sable and man what a day uh, third day in Africa and you know we got seven more days to go and I'm really excited for what's what Africa has to offer what a day Good morning. It's the uh, fourth day here in Africa. Uh, we still got a lot of animals on our list that we're going to try to get today. Uh, the big one is uh, Kudu, Nyala, Black Impala, uh, Zebra, uh, Gimsbuck. So let's, uh, let's get out there and see what we can see. up on the road here. So we're gonna stalk the road, see if we can get close and get a better look at it. I think you've hit him decent here. It's a nice bull, that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Very nice bull.
know that touch and go bit wise but if you turn you don't often get pulls that come right forward like this. If we turned this down we'd have been crying. Love Magnificent B yes pull. Well done mm -hmm. shit. He's in the prime of his Yeah he's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, but you know, Okay, so we've been a long day hunting kudu. Um, went out early this morning. Um, just never really saw anything. A uh, couple of places we tried, one or two cows, no bulls. Um, then we came out, tried a different area in the afternoon near Bedford. Um, saw one shooter that we could have got a shot at, but we turned him down. Um, then later in the afternoon we saw two really good bulls, but they were in a really thick area and we couldn't just couldn't get a chance to get close to them. And then we came around to this, to the mountainside um, for the last hour to do some glassing and uh, we spotted this bull pretty quickly and um, put a stalk on him. But as we came around, uh, we bumped into a troop of baboons that got the fright of their lives and screamed and alerted everything. Um, anyway, the, the cows and the bull came, came trotting out, uh, so we had to take a snapshot. And yeah, Aaron made a great shot at about 230 yards with no time and not, not much of a gap. Hit him good, probably ran 200-300 yards over the hill and then we found him lying dead. Yeah, what an awesome trophy. Yeah. Cape Kudu in the prime of his life, just magnificent. Yeah, this is just fantastic. Uh, talking about quick shot, that was probably the fastest shot I ever made, getting on the sticks that quick. <laughs> <laughs> my heart was beating out of my chest for this one, that's for sure. Uh, but man, what a magnificent kudu. I'm super, super proud of this thing. And I, once again, I can't thank you enough, Nick. Awesome. That was a great shot. Man, what a day. Uh, finally got our kudu today. Uh, man, started out dreadful. Uh, went to four different locations uh, with no success. And about an hour before the last bit of sunlight we had, uh, we found we found them. Man, I tell you, it's just been all excitement leading up to the very end and uh, ready for tomorrow. Uh, we got several animals left. Nyala, giraffe, black impala, gims buck, uh, common, re uh, common uh, reed buck, and uh, who knows, well, we might keep adding to the list here in Africa. morning so we just uh, seen a common rebuck. Uh, we're getting a second glass on him to see uh, if he's a good one. Um, if he is, uh, we're gonna get out there and we're gonna tag him. Okay, so we were, we were actually hunting in this area yesterday, uh, looking for kudu, and um, we saw a, a one-horned common reed buck, and Aaron was like, "Ash, what's that? Uh, so, yeah, common reed buck, and yeah, grew on him pretty quickly, and so we decided to come out this morning and, and uh, look for a common reed buck. Uh, we saw a really good ram well, within 10 minutes, um, but uh, decided to turn it down and then um, managed to stalk a female about an hour later and yeah then sort of mid-morning we spotted this monster and yeah Aaron made a great shot through the trees and yeah what a trophy. Yeah again this this uh, common reed buck was definitely not on my list but uh, once I saw it yesterday I, I knew I knew it had to be on the wall so it was uh, once again just an excellent trophy uh, Super excited about this, and uh, I'm just 
blown away every day from all the animals that we're, we're uh, harvesting. And uh, once again, thank you, Nick, for everything. Yes, you fallow deer right now and we're just waiting for them to come our direction and see if we can make a shot on one. Make a running shot on it. It's all right, we'll find him. Awesome, well done, Aaron. Uh, thank you. Chalk it up as another one shot kill. Yeah, absolutely, on the run. Yeah, I got me a fallow chocolate deer today. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it was definitely a tough shot for sure. Uh, it was on the run and uh, he wasn't gonna stop so I had to make a make a shot on the run. Definitely definitely a first time for me. Uh, but man, what a, what a beautiful animal here in Africa. Wouldn't have it any other way. Searching for Nyala, and uh, we seen we seen one a while back. Uh, but we're gonna come back in the evening and see what we can see. Right now we're just kind of glassing around and then uh, see if we can see something. Looking for a big one. We need like a home run in the park. It's been uh, quite a day today. Fifth day here in uh, Eastern Cape, Africa. Uh, this morning we got a common reed buck, uh, big, big, big trophy, and then a fallow, fallow uh, chocolate. Uh, then this afternoon we were searching for the elusive Nyala, uh, which was nowhere to be found. <laughs> uh, but we seen some impressive kudu bulls uh, along the way. Uh, but we live to uh, another day for tomorrow morning for the elusive Nyala. morning it's the uh, sixth day here in Africa uh, this morning we're gonna try to get a Nyala bull and a black impala so hopefully today we're successful in that and uh, yeah really excited beautiful morning this morning so let's see if we can get on one
You doubt. Yep. Shush. Thank you. Perfect morning for no wind sun. Oh, one of those two bigger balls is the one I saw. There's another one just popped up right there. Do you have another one, yeah. Dang, seven balls. Jeez, it shows you how you that. And there comes a kuri. Yep. Another uh, kuri. kuri. Found the little annual there. Yeah. Found the bull. Yeah. Looking at, I mean, saying, looking at. Yeah, very nice. Oh, mm. Good ivory on him too. Nice. left in there. <laughs> okay, so we've been looking for Nyala for a couple of days. Um, saw a good bull uh, three, four days ago. I uh, just couldn't, got pretty close, but just couldn't get a shot on him. Um, looked hard yesterday afternoon, couldn't find a decent bull. Um, came out to a new area this morning and uh, we spotted, we spotted a bull we were on a cliff face and we spotted a bull uh, a good mile and a half away. Anyway, we got ourselves round and uh, to a nice vantage point, and there were seven bulls in total. Uh, yeah, so we got to pick, pick and choose, and yeah, so Aaron got an awesome bull here, yeah. and what a special morning. Yeah, it's been a beautiful morning. Uh, like I said, we've been hunting for Anala for a couple of days now, and uh, I was a little discouraged from the first day. We've seen a really nice bull, but man, we, uh, we found one this morning, so it's been a fantastic trip so far. Uh, really, this is one of the number, another top animal on my list, and uh, I'm really excited about it, and uh, can't wait to put it on my wall. So once again, thank you, Nick, for for everything, and this this hunt has been truly amazing. We just spotted a big black Apollo ram. Uh, we're gonna try to get up on him and see if we make a shot on him. Okay, so we've had a wonderful morning, got a Nyala early in the morning um, and then set out to look for a black Impala. Uh, we saw a couple of younger rams and one not so great ram and uh, then we spotted this beauty um, in some thick bush with some ewes and um, took us a while but we waited them out, just ended us with a difficult shot, what a magnificent trophy. Yeah, black Impala is uh, definitely one of my favorite animals, uh, just a beautiful black coat magnificent creature really excited about this one and I just can't wait to get it back in the States for a showpiece in the living room and uh, once again Nick appreciate you very much for yep, this hunt absolute pleasure what a what a beautiful animal so we just spotted a, a Guinness Buck Bull um, wind's not our favorite so we're gonna kind of stalk down below him and see if we can intersect him and get a shot on him Stalking on that Gibbs Buck bull, and 
He's just about 500 yards now, 600 running away from us. We got a plan in place. Uh, we're gonna try to go downwind and come around on this ravine here and see if we can get closer and get a shot. Of him. It's real windy. Uh, it's about 15 miles an hour right now. Um, and making a long shot like that just is too risky. So for a big bull like that. So we're gonna see what we can do and see if we can make a closer stock on him. Day seven uh, in the afternoon. Uh, the weather's changed on us, so we got a little bit of rain. Uh, so we're gonna try to get a zebra. Um, it's gonna be a challenge. Hope this well, rain weather holds off for a little bit, but let's see if we can get one. Solid, that one. Now him solid. Go uh, same to the land cruiser while we. Yeah, they go to the top corner. See this one. Well, let's go and check on that ledge. 
something ploughed there for sure. Yeah, I know. I'll tell him to come slowly up the main road. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I see, I see him boy, yeah, yeah. Just in case I see him. Okay, go. Here he is, I think he goes down right there. No, no, he's going to the season in the middle of the road. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, congrats. Appreciate it. Got the job done. And it's a beautiful hike. Yeah. Okay, so after an exciting morning's giraffe hunting, uh, we came back to camp and then headed out to a property near us uh, to look for giraffe, uh, zebra. And uh, we found a nice herd and um, watched them for a long time to make sure we got the right stallion. Uh, we tried a long shot at 450. Uh, just went underneath. Apparently the, relo the reloader's fault. Um, Anyway, they went off over the hill, so we followed them on foot uh, and we got in pretty close and then they went up the hill and uh, we got a chance at a stallion and uh, Aaron made a good shot, wind just drifted it a little bit and uh, we took off with the herd, so it turned into a long afternoon, but uh, we got the job done and uh, beautiful stallion, well done. Yeah, it was definitely a challenge uh, getting the zebra on the ground, that's for sure. Um, but I'm definitely excited about it. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful hide. And uh, appreciate everyone that made this happen. And uh, once again, uh, thank you, Nick. Awesome. Good morning. It's the uh, eighth day here in Africa. Uh, it's a wet one. It rained quite a bit over the night and continued to rain this morning. We have one animal on my list, and it's a gimsbuck. Um, so hopefully we can try to get us a buck in this wet weather. It's cold, it's wet, we're gonna make it happen though. Well, weather's not good, rainy, misty. Um, we spotted that really big gimsbuck bull that we saw a couple of days ago, and uh, been after him for about an hour and a half on foot, and uh, they disappeared over the hill, and we've just spotted them again, probably a mile away. So here goes, take three. Shot a Gims buck. Uh, it's rainy and wet. Uh, we're gonna go see if we can uh, put eyes on him. You can see the horns clearly. Tell 
Ain't no way to play. Into there to move forward. Oh, yeah, see, we're laying down right yeah. there. Yeah. It's got that sort of push going yeah. as vitals. Yeah. Third shot, your free hand one that you do on the run was important. We still had some horsepower left in him. I don't know, that could have been pretty bad. We were chasing them. What's that? Probably a 40 inch gear spoke. Awesome. Shit! That's quite an old cow too. Okay, so we woke up to a very rainy, misty, it rained hard last night, been drizzling most of the day, very misty. Um, and we, we've been after Gamsbuck the whole day. Um, we went after a group this morning for oh, a couple of miles and eventually the mist just got the better of us and we couldn't see, so we went back to camp for brunch and waited for it to clear a bit. Got a gap in the weather, and we came out, and uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of games like were up and about. Uh, we spotted a group of four, and um, yeah, spotted this magnificent cow, extremely long, and yeah, what a what an awesome trophy. Yeah, this is a uh, cow was on the list, but man, once I saw them horns, uh, I just knew we had to have a cow as well. So it's a fantastic games buck, and uh, I'm really really excited about it. It's been quite a day uh, here, day eight in uh, Africa. Uh, woke up this morning and it was dreadful weather. Cold, wet, just raining nonstop. So we weren't able to hunt this morning. But we came out this evening, uh, attempted on Gimsbuck, and it was definitely a challenge, that's for sure. Uh, but we got a beautiful uh, Gimsbuck, and uh, yeah, it was uh, turned out to be a successful day. Just wet, dreary, and. Uh, I wouldn't expect anything else in Africa. Just you never know what day what what will throw at you. So, but it's been a, a great trip so far. Good morning. It's the ninth day here in Africa. Uh, we've completed all of our my animals on the list, but decided to add one more, the red ledge away. Uh, so we're out. We're looking, and we're gonna see if we can find one uh, that's worthy to be shot. So we didn't find a red ledge this morning, uh, but we found a golf course, and so we're gonna take some time, relax, and uh, play some 18 holes. Six. 
Well, good morning. Yeah, it's departure day for us, uh, but we're still hunting that red ledge way. It's our last hunt. So we got one shot at this. Uh, so we're just gonna go see what we can see. See if hopefully we can get on a big red lechoe bull uh, to complete this uh, wonderful trip that we had so far. In distance. Hmm? That lechoe way, way off in the brush there? Uh, could be the iron pole here too. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we found our red lechoe bull. Uh, we're gonna try to make a stock on him. It's about a couple hundred yards away from us now, so we're gonna see if we can get a shot on him. We just shot our red cherry bull. Um, as you can tell, I'm really excited. Uh, it wasn't on my list, but man, they're beautiful, beautiful animals, and I just knew I had to have one as well. So this concludes our hunt for uh, for this trip. Good yield. Yep. Oh, that's a beautiful bull. Okay. Those other bulls? It probably as long. Wow. You see, the horns are like when they get older, they get white. Mm -hmm. Those are those with the stupid. Well, there yeah, we see. Beautiful match for me. Like I said, oh, this is an old bird. Um, those other guys were sort of white to be in the most of the Okay, so here we are on the final morning of uh, Aaron's first African safari. Um, we spent yesterday looking for lechwe. Uh, just never saw a decent bull. I uh, know Aaron wanted to let you badly and he was he was getting down. Anyway, we came out this morning, beautiful morning. Uh, turned down two very nice shootable bulls. And uh, I think I was getting a few sideways glances. Uh, and anyway, then we spotted this guy, just a magnificent specimen. Huge body, old bull, um, just yeah, a wonderful, wonderful trophy. And yeah, Aaron made a great shot. Uh, Ran 20, 30 yards and tumbled in a heap. So yeah, congratulations. That's just an awesome, awesome lecher. Yeah, this is a, I was getting discouraged, I ain't gonna lie, uh, after we turned down two nice bulls that I thought were nice bulls. <laughs> uh, I was gonna give him a little crazy eye there. But now he, uh, Nick put this, put me on this wonderful, wonderful bull here. Uh, man, much, much bigger mass, the width. Uh, couldn't be, couldn't be prouder. Uh, and, and just what a great experience this has been. So once again, Nick, Appreciate you very much. Absolute pleasure, I've enjoyed it. Well, it's the end of our trip here in beautiful Eastern Cape, Africa. Uh, 
it's been a, it's been an exciting trip. Uh, this trip I didn't think I'd be able to take in my lifetime, but I've uh, been blessed and fortunate to bring some of my buddies along with me, and uh, we we successfully harvested several animals. Uh, man, we uh, has exceeded our ex expectations, um, and man, what a beautiful country! Uh, from day one, uh, we get here. Uh, the travel was was miserable, but man, once we were on site, uh, it's it's been fantastic since day one. Um, we were I was able to successfully get a zebra, sable, nyala, black impala, fallow, common reed buck, um, and the list goes on and on. Gims buck, red edge way, um, kudu, water buck. Um, there's just so many animals here in Africa that back at home it just doesn't even compare. Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, definitely coming back next year, and yeah, I'm hooked. Safari's got me. It's got my heart. Uh, beautiful place. Beautiful people here. Uh, the experience has been once again just amazing. Exceeded all of our expectations, and I would, ex it, you know, it wouldn't expect anything less. So it's been a, it's been a journey. And until next time, we'll see you next time. Well, we're leaving on our way and go back to Port Elizabeth and then Port Elizabeth, Johannesburg and back to Houston. Uh, it's been an exciting trip. Uh, can't complain. It's been, it's been a, an astonishment of, uh, of animals and the uh, trip's been awesome. And uh, y'all got anything, anything to say, boys? <laughs>